Hello and welcome to my channel. I had this brainstorm that I needed to create something to say goodbye, have a great summer for my students. This is our last full week of school. So I have decided to create a hyperlink type of slide here. And I'm gonna use Bitmoji to add a little more personality. Means that I can't really be there in person. A little more personality, they can kind of see me or an image of me. So let's get started. I'm gonna start out in Google Slides. And I'm gonna just title this end of year. So I'll know I don't need any of this. So I'm gonna highlight that and delete it. Now I wanna change the background. So if I right click, I wanna change the background and I wanna choose an image. I am going to Google search. And what I want is wall and floor background. Perfect. I don't know if I want the one with the tree. Hmm. I like this one. Looks like I can change the background color because I don't like the background color. Yep, I'm going with that one. It's pretty basic. I like it. So there we have it. Now I want to change this color. So I'm going to insert a rectangle. So as I can see, this is only a rectangle. And I'm gonna change the fill color. I like this light blue. Change the border to match. That's kind of fits my style, my color. And my students know that I absolutely love the beach. So I'm gonna add a really pretty picture window here. So again, I'm going to insert image and we're going to upload, search the web, just like we did earlier. Earlier, I did a right click. This is another way to do it. And I want a transparent window. I like this one. So I'm going to shrink this down to size. My students know I love a good beach scene so here's my window and now i'm going to add my beach scene students always think i'm in hawaii insert image search the web so instead of window i want beach scene i want something with sand so it looks like there's sand first and then oh that's a good one Let's do that one. I'm going to shrink it down to size so it'll look like it's in the window. This is so much fun. Reminds me of back in the day playing Sims, building your little houses just the way you want it. So if you've done Sims, you'll be good at this. I've only played it a couple times. I wasn't real good at it, but I'm enjoying this. Okay. Now it's on top of my window. It doesn't look like it's an outside scene. It looks more like a picture, which you could do the same thing and make a picture. But if we go up here to arrange and we're going to order, send it back. We only want to send it back once. If we go all the way to the back, it's going to go behind the blue that I put. And there you have this window. It looks like what the way this image is set up. Let me see. I'm going to stretch this out because I want to be seeing more of the top of the palm tree. I think that'll look more like a window. Just play around with it. It's fun. So I can crop the bottom out. Let's crop the roots out of that tree. Looks like we got it. Okay, now I need to insert. I want to put a little chair. Transparent. And I want to 
Can I do a desk chair? Oh, that's a good one. That's another relaxing one. Oh, I like it. Now, I don't like the way it's facing. I want to turn it around because I want to be looking out the window. So I right click and I can rotate it, flip it horizontally. I can also right click and over here, scroll down to format options. I could change the color if I wanted to. Gives you a few color options. So these would be the different options. You can test them out. I like the black. So I am going to stick with no color. Use it just like it is. Shrink it down. Should be looking a little bit out the window. Gosh, I wish I was there. Perfect. Here we got it. We got our chair. It looks like he's on the wall. Let's slide him down a little bit. There we go. And now I want to add like a bulletin board or a message board for them. So I'm going to just insert a shape. I'm going to do a rectangle because this is going to be my whiteboard. I can do that or I can do insert image just like we've been doing and transparent whiteboard. I think I'm going to create my own. So insert, we're going to go with a shape, rectangle, go whiteboard right here. And I want to have a border. I want a black border. I want to increase the thickness. Go right here. We can increase the thickness. Let's go bigger than a four. Eight. Does eight work? Eight works. Now we look like a whiteboard. And I'm going to, let's insert a text box. So I want to change the font. People don't like Arial. I love Arial. I don't know why people don't like Arial. But I do like permanent marker. That, and then I want to center it. Because my students have never done anything like this, I'm going to let them know that this slide is interactive. And then we're, I'm going to tell them to watch my video. And I've been creating videos every single week, so this is not uncommon for them. So what I'll do now is right here, I will highlight that, go up to this little link, and I will insert a link to my video. I just paste it right here and then click apply. And then in my video, I plan to give them instructions because I'm going to have things for them. I wanna have two things out for them. I wanna have a book for them the places we'll go, you'll go, and also an award for surviving this crazy time. So I think I need a table maybe. So <clears throat> insert image. We want a transparent. We need a table. I need a table to put these items on. We got to shrink it down so it'll fit in my room. Here we go. Okay. So what I'm going to be giving them is a link to go read oh the places you'll go so I'm gonna set that here on my table and in my video I'm gonna tell them click on the book oh the places you'll go and read the book and that's gonna be hyperlinked to the same way click here link once it's highlighted with the blue or you can do insert and do link here. Either way, you're going to hyperlink it so when the students click on that, it'll take them immediately to the book. You need to create your Bitmoji account and then you're going to add the Chrome extension and see up here you'll have that icon. So I'm going to go Bitmoji and me sitting down, I could be celebrating, but I'll go sit down and I'm going to go relax. Copy image, right click, and I'm going to shrink myself down, I'm a little too small, 
stretch me out here. There we go. Looks good. And then I'm going to move the words over. Put my whiteboard over. So I found this amazing award for them. So I'm going to hang it right here on the wall. And this amazing award comes from Carolyn's Creative Classroom. It's actually free. She's got a great store over there at TPT. Go ahead and check her out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hyperlink this, just like I showed you before, to the editable version of this slide. So click on it, insert, link, and it's going to link to the award. And they just type in their name. I've already signed it. It's ready to go. So this is what we have. Sitting here relaxing, ready for the end of the school year. Welcome to your last full week of school. I'm going to tell them that this slide is interactive because they've never done it before. Please click here to watch my final video for you because I've been sending them videos every single week. So they'll click on here in my video. I'll tell them to click on the book and read all the places you'll go. And then I'll wish them farewell and have a great summer. And then I'll have them click on the award for being flexible and getting through this distance learning with me. That's my little thank you to them. So hope you found this video helpful. I'm planning to use it, um, especially for distance learning next year, probably how I create my lessons. Had a lot of fun creating it. Um, I'm, I can see so many things I can do with my little bit moji character and making things a little more interesting for the students. I'm sure they get tired of just reading words. I get tired of reading words and I want to see some pictures. So have a great day. Don't forget, step out. Be uniquely wonderful you.